I'm Carly Selting here with HTTV, and today I have Carter, Jackson, and Brendan playing Topics. We have to be here because you had nobody else. Yeah, right. I made them do it. Okay, Carter. What's the best financial decision you have ever made? Buying a cat. Okay. Jackson. What kind of driver are you? Relaxed, anxious, irritable, or cautious? None of the above. Which one? Yeah. Pick something. I, I said none of the above. So what type of driver are you then? Reckless. A fun one. <laughs> Brendan! How has your hometown changed since you were young? Um... Not sure. We won the state championships. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> we were also state champions before you were born. And three years ago. Have you ever been unable to stop laughing at an inappropriate time and when or why? Have I ever not been able to? Yes, at an inappropriate time. Um, yeah. When, uh, let me think. Probably when uh, one of my teachers, one of my teachers had somebody in their lives pass away and they said something and I felt really bad but I just kept laughing because I didn't know how to deal with it. Jackson, are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? What are some examples? I'm an extrovert because um, sometimes I don't think before I say stuff, like Brennan has a cute face. I really don't know the different, like, I know introvert means in and extrovert means out, but I don't know the definition, so I think that's what that means. <laughs> no, 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 no. Extrovert is you like to be out with people, introvert is you like to stay home and be by yourself. Yeah. It has nothing to do with my cute face. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, um, I'd say a little bit of both. Sometimes just being by myself is nice, but then also not. We all know what he's going to say, but Brendan, have you ever won an award? Day champ, baby. Yeah, we won that, but I'm trying to think specifically an award. All state? I don't know, I think I won the spelling bee once in like third grade in our school, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> Carter, how well do you receive criticism or advice? Horribly. I do not accept constructive or any form of criticism. And you can give me advice, but I will probably not take it. That's wrong. She actually listens to everything I say. Only, only you. Only me. Jackson, what do people say you're good at? I don't know what other people say I'm good at. I know what Brennan says I'm good at. But I also know that, like, my mom says I'm really good at, like, school. Like, I get really good grades. Like, like English. I'm really good at English. Um, I'm also really good at eating food. I'd say that that's probably... I would say most people probably tell me I'm good at eating food. She really knows how to put it away. And uh, <laughs> playing Xbox, probably. I, I like playing <laughs> Xbox, and I'm good at that. Um, mm. You know, some people might say I'm uh, pretty pretty good at basketball, but maybe that's just, maybe I just think that. Who knows? It's just you. But, yeah. It's actually not. The Montana Grizzlies invited me to their invite only camp. Gosh. My bad. Brendan, what food reminds you of home and hey, why? Me. That's not funny. <clears throat> um, probably lasagna, because my mom always makes lasagna on Christmas Eve. It's really weird, but yeah. Aww. Mm -hmm. Last question, guys. Carter. 
Should people be free to do anything they want if it doesn't involve hurting anybody else? No. Because, like, laws don't always have to deal with, like, protecting people from, like, actual injury. It's just, like, like stealing, um, stealing doesn't, like, hurt anybody. I mean, I guess maybe financially, but, like, not physically. It's still wrong. Jackson, what website or app or game can you get lost in for hours? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go one by one. What was the first one? Mm, oh. What website? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably ESPN. Just, yeah. App. Mm hmm. Probably TikTok. Game. Um, MLB The Show. I played like 70 hours of it in like the first like two days. So. It's yeah, not that's not possible. possible. There's not 70 hours. In the first like five days actually. So. That's yeah, probably that game. Um, what's the last one? Oh, Somebody's Eyes? Yeah, Brendan's. Brendan, do you like to be the center of attention? And <laughs> why? He is the center of my attention. Stop answering the questions. Yeah, um, I guess it's pretty cool to be the center of attention. Sometimes, all the time. So yeah, the answer is yes. Yeah. Carter, have you ever had a nickname and how did you get it? Yes, K, K-A-E. Um, uh, I don't know, people just started calling me that one day. It's my favorite nickname. I love it. Jackson, have you ever been granted? If you could be granted one new skill or ability, what would you choose? Um, one more ability, you said? More skill. Um, probably superpowers. Like a specific all, one? No. My ability would be all superpowers. One ability equals all superpowers. But like not telling anybody about them. So then like I can just be the best human ever, even though it wouldn't be human if I was super. I already am super, super special. Yeah. Yeah. Brendan, what can be frustrating? But you still love it anyways. Me. Um, um definitely joking around with friends because when you're trying to do something serious and they never stop. It's really hard to get stuff done. <laughs> yes. But yeah, that's you. But it is fun to have fun. So joke around. So uh, is that it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have questions for Carly. Oh no. Um, describe the first hour of your typical day. First hour of my typical day, I wake up at 6 a.m. I lay in bed until 6.25. I get up, I pick out clothes, get ready, and drive to school. What do you think about the saying, follow your gut? Your gut is always right. I, yep, always. What is different or interesting about your family? They have a lot of babies all the time. Um, so you can spend a day with anyone from the past or the present. Who do you choose and what are you doing? What did he just say? I actually can't answer that, truthfully. So, I'm just going to say Carter, and we'll go cat shopping. Do you know what you want in life, and what is it? I want to be successful. I want to be my own boss. So, either entrepreneur or cosmetologist with my own salon. Who are 
great examples of what a family should be. Why? Who are you? Yeah, like who somebody in your life is like, yeah, that's what a family should be. Either Kylie Wyatt and Kyson, or Cole, Chastity, Haven, and Renly, just because they're amazing little families. Obviously, they all have their ups and their downs, but for the most part, I want my life to be like theirs. One last question. Oh, wait, one more. Oh, yeah, we'll do mine first. Okay, so what's something that tests your patience, and how do you deal with it? When people lie to me, that I, I don't deal with it very well. I chew their heads off. Going off of that one, how would the world change if lying was impossible? Then it would be honest and everything would go smoothly, but there would be a whole lot more fighting because there wouldn't be a lot of things hidden from significant others. What decision, what decision did you make that your family and friends didn't approve of? My ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Are we done? Care to explain? No. <laughs> Are we done? How come you're here to ask me all this? Yeah. Sure, we'll know. Do you think humans will merge with technology? If so, how will it change the world? Humans already have merged with technology, have we? No. Yes, I'm addicted. How has it changed the world? For the worse, um, if we didn't have technology, everything would be great. But no, cyberbullying and all that crap goes on. One more question, so make it good. This question is actually for Brendan here. It's actually uh, two questions. Did you ever sneak into an event building? And how was it? How was your first date? What do you remember about it? <laughs> uh, no comment. Was it a boy or a girl? Um, well, it depends on what you would consider a date. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Finish the following sentence. I could never date someone who... Say it again. I could never date someone who... Um, I don't know. Don't try to stab any of us in the back, alright? Ask you. Ask, ask somebody else. I could never date someone who... Doesn't like me? I don't know. I can't Oh, first into the office, guys. How much do you care what others think of you? How does it affect your life? Um, can I please hold it? No, you're on. like Ricky Bobby trying to touch a microphone. Yeah, I care a lot. Um, Why? Why? And how does that affect your life? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it makes me better. I don't know. All right, one last question here. Actually, two more. At first, he didn't want to play the game. What tests your patient? Pati what tests your, what patient? tests your patience, and how do you deal with it? Um, when Jackson doesn't stop bugging me during class, and when Jackson spits footballs at me at science during science, um, or it's not very funny, and um, usually I feel the urge to punch him in the face. Are you well organized? How do you do it? Uh, no, not at all. Um, my car looks like apartment building um, and I just I throw stuff everywhere and then get mad when I lose it and eventually I find everything I need though so it all works out and last question do you like food yes do you like food as much as me more than you doesn't look like it I have a faster metabolism <laughs> <laughs>